everyone doing? That video I just did earlier, I'm trying to get it uploaded. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know who that's for, but it has been a beast. Just trying to make it was a beast. And now it's trying to give me hell to upload, so I expect that it's going to have an impact on somebody. Good job. All right. Thank you, Spirit, for no negative energy, especially to be a hotel room, right? <laughs> right. And as you can see, it's raining today. So I'm going to take advantage of that and do some work. Okay. Please, Spirit, help me. My tooth is hurting so bad. <laughs> Mm. Oh, please make it go away. Please make it go away. All right, let's see. Who do we want to do? Let's see what's going on with Gemini. I haven't done Gemini in a hot minute. Oh, wait. We got to do Aquarius. I promised my cousin we'd do Aquarius. All right. Cuz, Cuzo. Cuzo, Cuzo. We're going to see what's up with Aquarius. Death and the Emperor. Ooh, Aquarius. <laughs> I can't even hold on to the cards. What you done to him to this Emperor? You making him transform. Or either you killed him, I don't know which. <laughs> I ain't even trying to joke like that because I already know you. The Emperor again and tem temperance. You definitely got a man on your mind. Aquarius, you've got a man on your mind. What's really going on? Temperance and the Empress. Maybe you got an emperor and you've got an empress on your mind. Somebody's got somebody on their mind. That's what's up. All right, Spirit, what's the overall energy for the sign of Aquarius? Temperance in reverse. You done lost your patience. <laughs> And the fool, you're ready for something new, aren't you, baby? It's coming. If you're ready for some new, it's coming, Aquarius. I feel it, too, because I have an Aquarius ascendant. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see how the angels are working in your life, Aquarius. Angels. I got that song in my head. I got a confession to make. You're getting the best, the best, somebody's getting the best, the best, the best, the best of you. That song, for some reason, that might be significant because it's stuck in my head out of nowhere. I haven't heard it or anything. All right, angels, talk to me about Aquarius. How are you working in Aquarius's home life? New beginnings, Aquarius, I'm ready, yay! I'm telling you, we got a new beginning there, and angels are working on a new beginning, Aquarius. Ha-ha! <laughs> dogwood trees. You might have a dogwood tree in your yard. Um, I see a lot of doves and a lot of feathers. I see a blonde-haired chick, and I see a, like, brunette kind of sandy brown-haired chick. This is a platinum blonde. I mean, we're talking like came out of a bottle blonde. All right. How are you working in Aquarius's work life spirit? Thank you so very much. Music, Aquarius. <laughs> That's why I was singing that song to you, I guess. <gasps> Music. Maybe you something you do for a living. I don't know. We're talking about your work life. You're going on an adventure, too. Spirit's about to take you on a musical adventure in your work life. Whatever that might mean to you. That's awesome, though. Alright, how about love life? A whole shit ton of them flipped over, Aquarius. I've got love, dreams, help, in solitude. Love, dreams, help, and solitude. Somebody's not well. Somebody's not well at all. Somebody's sick. 
and I feel that whoever this is, it's something serious. I see a red Japanese maple. I see butterflies. I see a lot of feathers and doves again. This piece gives off a very peaceful vibe. But there's there's two this is your love life and you feel alone for some reason. You're in solitude. You could have something going on with your health or it could be your person that you're thinking about. But you have love here and you have dreams. We'll have to pull some cards on that. Alright, so we did home life, work life, love life. Um how are you working on the outcome for Aquarius? Oh. Past lives and faith. Maybe you're starting to believe in this past life stuff. And wisdom on the bottom of the deck. You know, losing somebody close to you will do that, won't it? You know, it'll make you believe in stuff. <clears throat> Ow, for God's sake, please let my tooth go on. I don't know what to say about this. This has a very serious vibe to it, though, I will say that. It looks like you're going through something with somebody in your life that's sick. Or it could be your own health. And it looks like you're going through it alone. Like you haven't told anybody that it's happening. I think you're sick and wh whoever's sick, they haven't said anything yet. They may not have told you or maybe they've told you but you're the only one who knows. Somebody likes to go fishing. Some, for some reason, I think Noah's Ark is significant to you in some way. Could be a child or a grandchild. Somebody has two teenage girls. Somebody definitely has two teenage girls. And they, one may be biracial and the other one not. That's going to be not for everybody, but that's going to be very specific to somebody. And for some reason, I'm hearing the name Deshaun or Deshauna. And I just heard the name Mallory. And I heard the name Elizabeth. I don't know what to say about this health problem. I mean, there's nothing I can say. It is what it is. All right, what do you want to do now, Spirit? We got to pull some cards, I guess. Let's do some, um, I want to try to use these again because yeah, the other day when I did that Sagittarius reading, I'm going to tell you right now, there was something going on. First of all, I got woke up at like 3 a.m. to do it. And I went outside and did the reading so I wouldn't wake my friend up who was asleep in here in, here in the hotel room. <coughs> And the cards, if you watch the video, I rewatched it just because it was so weird when it was happening. The cards are literally turning over in stacks on their own. And it just about every time I shuffled, cards were turned over. That's something that's just never, I've never figured out how that happens. Oh my God, I wanna pull my tooth with pliers. Okay, so let's see what's going on right now, right now. Yes, yes, there's a little girl out there playing on the rail. You'll be all right. I'm getting um, the fool. Again, the fool. The fool is showing up a lot, Aquarius. Like, you've got a new start coming, a brand new start. And then I've got, I forget what these stand for. Inspiration, inspiration, inspiration. That's voices, emotion. I think inspiration is wands. 
No, yeah, yeah, wild and then that's material wire. Okay. All right, let's start this over. They have different names, but they're basically the same. All right. One more time. Let's see what we get. Muse of Voices. And then Five of Wands or Inspiration. That one is working together though instead of fighting. Interesting cards. Very interesting cards. You must be a very um you know um creative person <laughs> trying to figure out the word I want to use. Alright, talk to me about these the angels new beginning. Talk to me about Aquarius's new beginning. Okay, fair enough. There's, there's been an awakening. Oh. Wow. There's been an awakening. <clears throat> and then I have a two of voices and a two of inspiration. So that means that's a two of swords and a two of wands. Somebody has awake that you've awakened to this this spiritual stuff. You're starting to wake up to spirituality, but you're fighting denial. You're fighting some denial about it, and you're kind of trying to decide how you feel about it all right so what's going to happen with this new beginning probably a lot once you get out of your own way thank you very much oh queen of Queen of um, Queen of um, Pentacles in reverse, Death, and the Six of Wands in reverse. Something's happened. Something has happened. At one time, you were in the spotlight for something. One At one time, you had it all. But something has transformed this. And that's why you have to start over. You're not starting over because you want to. You're having to start over because you have no choice but to start over. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse right here? What happened to Aquarius to make them need this new beginning? There's a moth here like the one you would see in Silence of the Lambs. That movie might be a significant movie. There could have been a literal death. Clarify this material, the queen of material. Please just give me one at a time. The cards are coming out in big clumps. Thank you. Justice happened. Justice and this fighting. Legal. Something legal happened. But in this card, it's not really the same kind of fighting. 
that you would do in regular tarot. This is more of a mental type fighting. Like this could be, you could have an addiction of some sort that you're fighting that got you in some legal trouble. Or you could have some kind of mental health stuff going on, like serious mental health stuff, depression. Even some maybe borderline personality. There's a lot of things that I see going on here. And if that's not you, it could be somebody in your life that's got... Like, I can see, honestly, some multiple personality. Look at how this card looks. See how this person is here and then here and here. And they change. Every, every person on here looks different. But they're the same person. Like... Whoever this person is, you don't know who the hell they're going to be when you see them. And I think you've had a lot of legal trouble with them. You may have had to get a restraining order or a divorce. And it's cost you all of your money. And something you were doing that had you on the top, it cost you maybe a job. That's what it looks like. Or at least it costs you a lot. I'm saying I'm gonna say it costs you every fucking thing. Like some of some of you lost really good jobs. Because some of you could have even been in like the fashion business. And you could have gotten in legal trouble and it got knocked you out of the ability to do a career. Barping now. Um, and there was a death. There was a definitely a death. And somebody's still sick. But this could be this mental stuff that I see going on. But that's affecting your love life. I'm losing my voice while I'm talking about this too. Somebody's really, really, really in despair with this. <clears throat> Anything else you want to share with us, Spirit, about this? Thank you. Three of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. And the Two of Cups. Somebody's into tropical fish. Alright, so the Three of Wands is about you trying to find an opportunity and there's dominoes on this card and it's like you're trying to find, a, you're trying to figure out your way out of this shit storm that happened over here without knocking all these dominoes over. And so what you're doing is you're making a way out. Like, usually on the three of, of, of wands, is somebody looking for a way out or waiting for some way to come and present itself. In this particular deck, this bitch is finding her way out. Like, she's making a hole in the wall to get out of there without knocking anything over, without making a scene. And then... The Three of Pentacles, we all know what that's all about. That can be too many people, right? You're looking for a way out of a third party. There's somebody, and it's probably this 
ass hat right here with all the mental problems. No disrespect intended. Making your life hell because they're convinced that they're supposed to be with you and sometimes they're convinced that they're not because they don't even know who they are. They need to be on medication. Okay. Talk to me about Aquarius's work life and this angel of music and adventure. That sounds exciting. How are you working in Aquarius's life through music? Somehow spirit is working in your life through music and adventure. The moon and the lovers, Aquarius. Wow. Ooh, you have a secret lover. And you hear, you know about this music, don't you? Hmm. Yeah. And this is not, this is the divine doing this. This is the divine doing this. And there's a very significant pink strawberry moon that's important for some reason. I think we've already had it too. But there is a secret lover <laughs> that somehow music is significant, okay? Pink flowers, cactus flowers. Hmm. Somebody has a tuxedo for some reason. Somebody might be a singer. They might literally sing like in Vegas or in some kind of a show. They might do bar shows. Somebody sings and it's a classy type singing. Not that all singing isn't, but you know what I'm saying, like piano, a bar piano. Probably have a very sexy, smoky sounding voice. All right, so talk to us about this secret love that Aquarius has. Aquarius has a secret love. Aquarius has a secret love. How does this secret love feel about Aquarius? Oh, that was quick. <laughs> How is, there we go. Thank you, Siri. Okay. The Four of Cups came out, but in reverse. This person. <laughs> Why are you barking? I'm going to need to pull another card on that. Because this would be like not wanting to take your love. But they think you are not interested in them, is what it looks like. Clarify that. This person is, is definitely questioning this relationship very hard. Okay. 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 There's, I got the chariot and the nine of, P of pentacles in reverse. The chariot is about literal moving. Like you might need to move. Maybe this person lives out of state and away from you. Or far away that it's far enough you would have to move or maybe for some reason you just have to move but then I got the nine of Pentacles in reverse so maybe you can't afford to move is what it looks like and I'm sure because of all this legal shit over here you probably can't So how are you going to help in this situation, Spirit? Huh. Shit, that's a lot of cards. Can I please get one? All right, if I get them again, I'll take them. How are you going to help in this situation, Spirit? Thank you. Oh. The Hierophant. 
How about that? That could be marriage. That's definitely strong energy. Heart spirit flight, don't you worry about how I'm going to take care of this. I got this. But can you show us how? Can you give us a hint? Seven of Cups, Ace of Swords, and Knight of Pentacles. Somebody's fixing to cut through the bullshit because somebody is confused and doesn't know what they want to do. One minute they want to do this, the next minute they want to do that. And somebody's about to cut through that bullshit and say exactly what's on their mind. And then there's going to be slow and steady progress towards whatever goal this is that you've set or whoever set. Somebody's got marriage on their mind for real, for real. Somebody has hair that's colored various colors like a rainbow or your hair could be pink, it could be green, it could be yellow or it could be like blue or red or it could be a combination of all at once. <clears throat> There's definitely same sex going on for some of you. And for some of you, you might be bisexual. All right. Cactuses and succulents are also somehow significant and goldfish and owls and horses. All right, so somebody's gonna, gonna sit down with you and help you make decisions that have been confusing you because you've, you've just had so much going on with this person back here that's had you almost insane. All right, so talk to them. I mean, this is your love life. Spirit's not even talking about work. Spirit's talking about your love life, and now we have more love life to cover. So talk to me about this. What's going on with this solitude and this health situation? Spirit, thank you. All right, I got the Ten of, the ten of Swords. The Eight of Swords in reverse. Those are in reverse. And then the Two of Pentacles. Holy cow, Aquarius. Something that's had you imprisoned and feeling like it was cutting you all to pieces. Like you literally felt, this is mental fuckery. You felt like you had your hands tied behind your back blindfolded and somebody they were like torturing you and finally that's over finally maybe that's not even a, a definite but it's showing up in reverse which means it's real close to being over And then things are going to balance out for you. And there's somehow roses standing out. Yeah, these are some cool white tennis shoes. And there's there's like a color around the, the rubber on the edge. And somebody has like soft, like leg warmers around your ankles, black pants that come to your knees, a yellow tank top or yellow shirt. And there's roses standing out here. But I want to find out why this mental fuckery that's been going on hasn't quite ended yet. Somebody's definitely into fashion designing or graphic designing or something. Somebody has their hair dyed black. Somebody has their wrist covered for some reason. And it may be that you have tried to harm yourself or somebody has tried to harm themselves. Somebody in this situation struggles with some serious it may not be you, it could be your, you know, somebody in your life has some serious, serious mental illness. And that is not to be disrespectful. I'm just saying you have struggled with serious, serious mental illness. Why is this showing up is not quite over? The Hermit in Reverse. The Knight of Swords. The Page of Cups in reverse. 
Oh my God. It's not quite over. This person is coming back for more. Quickly coming back for more. Right now they've retreated. That's why there's solitude showing up. They're the ones that have been in solitude like a desert. They've been quiet. They've just been quiet, but they haven't gone anywhere, and they're fixing to come back like a Pegasus out of nowhere. <sighs> and they're not going to be friendly when they do. They're not going to apologize, so don't expect any of that. But they are going to tell you they don't want to fight anymore. And that they still love you. It's what it looks like. Because I have the Hermit in Reverse. The Knight of Swords. The Page of Cups in Reverse. The Five of Swords in Reverse. And the Ten of Cups in Reverse. The Ten of Cups is like unconditional love. They're, all three of these are in reverse simply because they're going to try and pretend like they, they want to be, they're going to try to get close to you again just so they can hurt you. Don't trust this person. They're going to act like they love you to get, get you back. Look, and you're all meditating and trying to get your center, and here they come again. Feeding you a bunch of bullshit. There's some mental illness going on strong in here. And I think somebody might even be into food magic. So be careful of taking food from people you don't trust. Somebody could actually be lacing somebody's food with something. They are, they're, they're full of shit though. And they're only coming out of this hermit mode to hurt you. Pretend like they love you so they can hurt you. All right, so that's why all of this is showing up here. All right, what do you, talk to me how, how should Aquarius handle this? How should they handle this? You do have one big ass female angel watching over you though, I can tell you that. And they see your pain and they see your struggle and they're gonna give you strength. Strength, that's how spirit's gonna help you with this. Do you see yourself sitting on that lion? You have tamed the lion to the point where you can sit on its head. That's, you've been through some shit now. But this is how you're going to get through this. Spirit is going to allow you to have the strength of a woman who has tamed a lion. Because essentially that's what you've done dealing with all of this mental illness. God bless you. Talk to me about faith and past lives, Spirit. Why, why is that showing up here? This could definitely be same sex, and they might be two young girls. All right. The world. The muse of inspiration. And the seven of swords. Damn. I don't even know what to say. Like, I don't even truly know what to say. But I'm going to tell you what this looks like. This looks like somebody who believes that there's past lives and they want to end their life so that they can go on to the next one. Clarify. Mm. You might be dreaming about foxes. And you have some sneaky fuckers around you. 
clarify this seven of swords. <coughs> <coughs> Can't keep my throat chakra open either. Somebody's trying to keep you quiet about something. Huh. The muse of emotions and the magician in reverse. Somebody's been playing with your emotions. There could definitely be some magic going on here. And I'm not sure what the muse of emotions is. There, what is a muse? I mean, I know what a muse is, but what is a muse in this book? Here we go. Here, can you please help me find what I'm looking for in here? Muse of emotions. Thank you, Spirit. Compassion, joy, the freedom to feel all the emotions as a way to self-discovery, transcendent states of bliss, meditation, inner calm, and knowing, being totally in touch with your desires and with balanced and peaceful emotions, avoiding moodiness, prompt, rinsing the shadow. Come, tiny vessel of love, to the place where the water drops off and pours everything into the sweet shell of life. This message of highest love resides where all the bits and pieces of your anger and sadness are brewed and alchemized into beautiful experiences for the soul. For they too are experiences to be cherished and learned from. Come meditatively, quietly, calmly, with everything you are. Leave nothing behind, for you will need, in for you will need it. In this place of mindful understanding, steer clear of manipulation and moodiness, and come into the night on the sweet waves of kindness. For those are the waves that will push you past the riptide. They will float you to the sandbanks of connection and invite you to explore your inner world with the gentlest compassion. Your task is simply to be true to your heart and accepting of the, na the nature that is as the healing waters of pure love are headed your way. Attend awareness of perception, reaction, emotion, empathetic and true, sensitive wisdom who crosses the sea. The subtle magic of now lies with you. So, you're getting in touch with, you're trying to get over all of this mental fuckery that you've been through and end that. You have two muses here, the muse of inspiration and the muse of emotion. You're trying to get in touch with your creative side again and you're trying to get in touch with this emotional side of yourself that's been out of balance for so long because of all of the dishonesty and the deception that has happened to you. You've been through some shit now, and this is still showing up in more manipulation. This person's going to try and bring, bring more. But Spirit is saying you're going to have a new start. Where's the fool? Why is the fool on the bottom of the deck, Spirit? Can you show me why the fool? Thank you. <laughs> the fool clarified by the fool, y'all. Cannot even make this shit up. Because Spirit says so. That's why. Because Spirit says this mental bullshit is going to end. If you want to know why, ask Spirit. <laughs> Damn, I love it when you do that, Spirit. Because you're going to have wisdom and you're going to be smarter than the average fox <laughs> because you have had your share of bullshit, Aquarius. Talk to me about the full day, Spirit. Talk to me about what that might look like for Aquarius. Spirit's telling me to get another deck of cards. 
Which deck would you like me to get? Okay. <clears throat> Open your throat chakra while you're meditating, Aquarius. We'll get you something to put on to help I keep it open. Okay. Some kind of crystal, like a lapis. Okay. Show us what this new beginning might look like, Holy Spirit. Can you please show Aquarius? Aquarius needs to see how this new beginning can look. Oh, baby. <laughs> You're going to be celebrating. There's going to be a wheel. And we've talked about that wheel is karmically driven. So you're going to celebrate something that the universe is going to have just, the universe is about to give you a wheel. Can we see what that might look like, Spirit? Uh-uh. Why is that in reverse? Because that's that fool. <laughs> Bet you. That is that one that has been trying, that was convinced they were in love with you. Clarify the two of cups in reverse. That this just means that that person is not coming back. You're going to have an ace of cups instead. There you were, the hermit and you. <laughs> Can I please get good, strong answers? Woo! Okay, then. All right. There's a child here, a little kid. This is like emotional everything. The Ten of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and Justice. <laughs> That's going to be that. But then you have all the shit on the floor, Aquarius. You have the Four of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Hangman, the um, King of Swords, and the Two of Swords on the ground. And I think that's the justice. Because somebody that you were married to, wait a minute, what's going on here? That could be you also. You're showing up as a king of swords. All right, so there's somebody new that you might be getting engaged to is what this looks like. There could be an engagement. But right now they haven't made that decision. Why haven't they made that decision? I think it's because of this stuff going on right here. Why have they not made this decision to move on, move on this new love? The Three of Pentacles. That's the same freaking cards because they don't think you're interested. They are afraid. They're not, okay, I have the Three of Pentacles, the Four of Cups in reverse, the World in reverse, the Five of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This person is looking for an opportunity and trying to plan out how they can approach you. But they, they feel like you're cold and cut off and that they, they could never... They don't feel like they could they could live up to your expectations somehow. Or maybe you're the one who feels that way. But somebody feels like they don't deserve something this wonderful. And guess what? If that's how you feel, that's how your that your thoughts become things. Look, the ace of cups on the bottom of this deck. There's a brand new love here. A brand new love. What is the likely outcome, Spirit? Will Aquarius be able to overcome this? What is the likely outcome? <laughs> that card was determined to come out, wasn't it? Can I please get good, strong answers for the likely outcome? That, that's strong enough. <laughs> the Lovers in Reverse and the Knight of Swords. Clarify the lovers in reverse. That's what I thought. This is that person. This is the likely outcome. This asshat is coming back in for another. They want to have another go at you. They are not finished torturing you. And you're showing up here as not even being their friend or either having a child with them. You could have two children with them. 
and you're tired of fighting with them. What's the likely outcome of that? This person coming back for another round. You probably are trying to finalize some legal stuff with this person. You might have like some restraining orders or you might be going, getting a divorce. There's some legal stuff going on with this person and they're coming in for around seven, eight. They got mental problems. What is the likely outcome? Let me be quiet for a minute. Can I see the likely outcome of this mentally ill ex? A towel came out in reverse. A towel came out in reverse. So there's something that's inevitable that's going to happen. Let's see if we can find out what it is. Now remember I told you this reading had a very heavy vibe before we even got started. I could feel a very heavy vibe. Like, it wasn't a good feeling. Somebody's manifesting a two of cups. But I have a feeling it's this person that's convinced that you're supposed to be with them. Clarify this tower in reverse. What's going to happen with this? This person is crazy. It's going to end. This, this is going to be over. The Hierophant reverse. That divorce is going to be final. The legal stuff is going to be final. Spirit's going to take care of that. All right, anything else you want to say about this? And I'm so sorry you're going through this. Oh, God. There's hope for this to, to end. There's hope for this fighting to end and all of this mental fuckery and confusion to go away. Spirit just wants you to know there's hope for that. And on the bottom of the deck is the Three of Swords in reverse, which would mean that, that, that the heartache that comes from it is going to come to an end, too. And you've got the Fool showing up twice. You've got a new love showing up twice. But the problem is, is that you've got to get over all of this stuff that you've been through with this other person so you can have a new love. Will they do that soon, Spirit? Wow, y'all. Okay. I don't normally take this many cards, but this was intriguing. I have the chariot again moving the emperor upright, okay? And then there's that independence that's not there yet, but there's the devil and the high priestess. Holy shit. Then I have you deciding between two paths. And you are going to be a queen of pinnacles that's working on being an empress. <laughs> I would say that it's going to be okay. Why is the empress in reverse? I think it's just because of this other person and all the mental fuckery. And there could be some black magic. I keep seeing that too. No, it's not going to be for everybody, but for some of you, you're into that. Okay, there he is. He was on the floor, but I've got, you have two men here, baby. You've got this one right here that I told you has the mental problems. I'm pretty sure this is him. And a five of cups. The five of cups actually came out with this man that loves the hell out of you. So this is healing. There's something that's going to be healed about this mentally ill person who's put you through the ringer and this other new person. Now you notice this person's in the upright. And the only reason they're in the upright, I believe, is because they are mentally ill. And the things they do, they cannot control. The only thing that they have control over is getting help for themselves. They need to get help for themselves, but that is not your problem. That is their that is their responsibility. 
that there's going to be healing and it could be that there's going to be healing between these two men like if this isn't two men that don't know each other this could be like a father and son you might be a father that has a mentally ill son or vice versa and there's I mean a lot of us struggle with depression and schizophrenia I mean, I, I worked in mental health. I still am a mental health professional, and I understand that that is a part of life. There's a lot of people who struggle with it, and there's no shame in it. And I don't say anything out of disrespect here, but somebody's put somebody through hell because of not handling their health. They need help with their mental health, and there's no shame in that. But it looks like that there's going to be some healing. And there's that celebration again. So the reason why you're upside down is because of this. You're not staying in your power because of other people beating you down. One of them, one of them, they could be your brothers. I mean, I don't know who these two people are. There's two men here though that have made you feel like complete shit because of all that you've been through. Take it as it resonates. One looks older than the other, but they're both showing up as adults. One is very charismatic, and one is very laid back. Like one probably likes to go fishing and drink beer and drink coffee in the mornings and probably has grandchildren and children. The other one looks like a complete hellion <clears throat> and probably is um, into like gay pride and um probably does a lot of um i mean the, the feel that i get is that this person is into partying a lot they're very irresponsible they probably try they probably go through a lot of jobs they can't hold a job because they're just irresponsible there may not be any drugs, they might just smoke weed, but usually people with mental health problems that don't get it treated will treat it themselves. And that is what I think this person's been doing. But this is saying there's going to be some healing there, whoever these two men are. But that is why you're not standing in your power. But you're close because you're a queen of pentacles. You're going to get your independence back. You have lost your independence because of something that happened in the past with this person. But it's coming, baby. It's coming. Hang in there. It's coming. Let's get you one of these because I'm totally falling in love with these cards. These cards are beautiful. Thank you, Colette Baron Reed, I think her name is. Yeah. All right. Can I get one of these for the sign of Aquarius, please? And Aquarius, I'm sorry it took me so long to get to your reading, baby. I was on vacation. And I'm, I'm about to be back now. I've got one more night here, and then I'll be back on, back on the clock. But I promised you this reading, and here it is. Uh, are we going to be able to get one of these for the science spirits? Making sure it's just the right one, Aquarius. Thank you so very much. Okay. I got confidence, confidence, and honesty. Confidence, honesty, and then invisible. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. Hush, hush, it's just Harley. Hush. All right, I want to know what invisible means because that's what's on the bottom of the deck invisible sometimes you may feel like you don't fit in as if you are invisible to others as your goddess i see you i know and i believe in you know that not everyone has the ability to recognize you fully and that perhaps they are so caught up in their own stories that they can't see you 
it's okay because those who can, those who can see you are the important companions on your path to finding your magic. Another meaning for the symbol you have chosen is that circumstances may require you to step back and remain in the shadows. Now is not now is not the time. Shut up! Sorry. Now is not the time for you to tell all and show everyone your truth. Be invisible. Protect. Being invisible protects you from harm right now so that you can observe your surroundings without being vulnerable. Stay hidden and watch what others do before acting. And I think that's a good idea because you've gone through a lot of stuff here. So Spirit wants you to have confidence and live in your truth, but be invisible. For right now, and I think you, you at one point were a very outgoing person and you were like an extrovert and you just had a big bubbly personality and were around a lot of people and you were probably in the spotlight for some reason. But it's time to, to take a step back from that and give yourself some time to heal from this trauma because you've been through a trauma with whoever this person is in your life that's been so difficult and i don't even know maybe maybe it's not even a good thing to know but maybe you're curious and that's why i'm asking can you give us a clue as to what might happen to this person that's been such a dick They're going to work. They're going to work. Maybe they're going to work on their mental health. They, and there is same sex going on here. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles, please. What are they going to work on? What are they going to work on? Ah, uh, come on. What are they going to work on? Good, strong answers only, please. Holy Spirit, can you please help me with this reading? What are they going to work on? Here we go. Whoa! Ha-ha! It came out there, way down there on the floor, and in reverse. They're going to find somebody new to be a player with. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. That's what's up. And that unhappiness is going to go somewhere else. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> just in case you were curious, they're still going to be a player. They're just going to have another love. <laughs> you already know how that's going to end, Aquarius. <laughs> all right. What would you like to give us next, Spirit? Anything at all? Let's get one of these. I'm tired of doing the same old, same old. I want something new. Hold up. These aren't even the right cards. Some of them are in the wrong box. That can't be an accident. You know I always say that's never an accident. Definitely not an accident. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what they say. How can I infuse more self-love and compassion into my daily life? Am I in my head or in my heart? And what can I do to make a difference? Today's soul action, make a difference in someone's life today, big or small, because all of it makes a difference. And then, you know, are you in your head or in your heart? Master your mind, watch an inspiring video, do some typing, read an empowering book, or write out the, all the reasons why you believe in yourself and your dreams. And then, infusing more self-love and compassion choose one of these actions and do one of these today set stronger boundaries meditate and listen to your heart speak to yourself with compassion focus on your strengths say no to something that isn't a soul yes say yes to something that you are afraid of let go of what you cannot control stay far away from drama and negativity ask for help and allow it and write down three things you are grateful for and spirit said to tell you that ask for help and allow it is probably a good one for you i don't know why but 
take it as it resonates. Okay, what would you say out of this deck of cards to the sign of Aquarius? Oh, wow. Wow. Like, I don't even know what to say. I got home and answers. For some reason, I think this might mean that there's a home. Like, you need a physical home. And then answers. But let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Answers. I found it first. So, let's see. There's different ways you can look at these. Uh, magical guidance. You already know the answers to your questions, so why do you pursue the opinions of others? It's time to trust as you journey to the dark chambers within and boldly ask for the truth to be revealed to you. As the answers shine forth, you'll find all the advice and knowledge that you need at this time. There's no need to seek the approval of anyone else, for the answers are all around. So keep a keen outlook for signs and signals from the natural and mystical world as messages appear to you through cloud formations, falling feathers, and the dream time. And then incantation. Take a book such as the dictionary on a Sunday during a waxing crescent moon and say, no solution to the task, details hidden who to ask. Wisdom's found deep inside, higher self's the perfect guide. Questions posed upon closed book, open up and take a look. Random words for one to gauge, answer found now on that page. The page the book is opened at will reveal wisdom and the answer you're looking for. Now say, gratefully I accept the magic of you, of protection to assist in all that I do. Lend me the courage, build power in me, assist my transcendence, so mote it be. The magical meaning is visit a psychic, uh, blah, 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 blah. visit a psychic medium for answers, investigate before proceeding, return to studying, somebody spills the beans, be open to perceiving esoteric information, and come clean. That's the magical meanings of the card. And then for home, <clears throat> magical guidance home is definitely where the heart is it's a place of security protection comfort and sanctuary and for you there's nothing better than the feeling of being at home as idyllic as that sounds the reality of the home is sometimes far harsher with disagreements interruptions or no time to call your own or no or no time to call your own. But feeling like an outsider is hard for anyone looking in. So it's time to breathe new energy into your dwelling place by enhancing the ambiance with peace, warmth, and happiness. Retreating within your newly energized home for a while will restore you to the full strength required to face the outside world. To magnetize the home that's perfect for you, bring bunches of lavender inside. Face east at dawn on a Tuesday during a new moon phase. Hold a piece of amethyst and say, some lavender for calmness and peace. Amethyst to create space and increase. Protection from harm at my back door. Crystals on steel and placed on the floor. As the sun rises this very dawn, a new warmth unfurls upon sacred morn. Boundaries in place, my own sanctuary, my home is my castle, tis where I should be. Now open the windows for fresh air to circulate new life into your home and say, gratefully I accept the magic of you, of protection to assist in all that I do. Lend me the courage, build power in me, assist my transcendence, so mote it be. Magical meaning, a house sale goes through. Someone's trying to make themselves at home. Put your boundaries in place and clear out any clutter. So there you go. And I have been looking into um, either making, I have the stuff to make candles. I've been thinking about making intention candles, but I need to get, I need to know what I'm doing. 
So um, I found some that are, they have really good reviews. I might just purchase some of them and see how that goes as far as selling them. But I will tell you right now that they have hell of good reviews and they are not cheap because they work. Okay. So I might try a few of those and see if y'all are interested in purchasing them. And if so, then we'll keep doing it. All right, so that's your reading Aquarius. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And I have two private readings I need to do. I have not forgotten about you. I've just been on vacation, and thank you for your patience with me. All right, you guys, have a blessed day. And I can't wait to get back to our trinkets so I can pull trinkets again. But I can almost guarantee you that for this reading right here, we would have definitely pulled a fox out of the bowl. <laughs> And who knows, it's probably a turtle. I'm trying to think. What else, Spirit? A unicorn for sure. And a rose. I don't know. Two hearts connected. I don't even know. Probably, I don't even want to know what we would pull. Probably a razor blade or a bullet or something for this fool over here because this person is really, I'm sorry you've had to go through that. And I do hope they get some help. But if nothing else, they're going to have this new person they're going to be playing with for a while. But just know they are going to come back for another round or at least try to come back for another round because it showed up like three times in the reading. All right, have a blessed day, and thank you for your support and love. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and please share it so more people will see them. All right, bye-bye.